Hello everybody, welcome to my studio in Sacramento, California. I just had my opening at Art Gallery Two Posts. My show was called Honey Under Your Tongue. And Jessica Lindemann was also featured in it. It went really good, I had a great time, drank wine, and we ate a lot of honey. So, I had some questions that were uh, posed towards me when at my show. And I'm going to try to answer some of them. A lot of them were revolved around how did I make my work. And I'm going to show you a little bit, a little glimpse. Alright, so first off, here's the tools that you need. I have cigar-shaped tools. I have palm gripping grip tools. And these tools have two different shaped blades. You have your U-shaped blade, and that's for like scooping out stuff with the grain, and you've got a V-shaped blade, and that's for going against the grain, as you can see. Alright, so next up you need wood. This is the wood I used. It's two foot by four foot uh, maple veneer plywood. Now that you have your tools, very simply this is how it starts. This is how you do it. You draw. And you carve away from your drawing. You leave the black part exposed. So I would carve, carve, and I would carve. What I did is I kept carving and I ended up with this A tree. So you can see up here all the carved marks and as we go down we see the tree branches all carved away the part that I want to print remaining and raised keep going down the, this is the trunk of the tree over here is the lady and all together that's my carved block here's another carved block See a goat and a goat and a goat. There. <laughs> There's another carved block. This is of the raven. So I made other wood blocks too, but those are the biggest. This is another material you can use. It's called linoleum. Just like you use on your floors and stuff. But similar process. Carve away where you want it to remain white. And then the, the raised surfaces will, will receive the ink. And then once you press this onto paper, you get you get an image. So that's my foxes. And this is Jessica's woman with the dove eyes. So, once you've carved your block, the next step is to lay ink on the block. And this is where this handy little tool comes in. It's called a brayer. And you roll some ink out, really smooth. Take it over here and roll it out on top of the image. Roll along. You've completely inked your image. You would take a piece of paper and you would line it up and lay it down flat. And another handy doohickey comes into hand. This right here. And here you just burnish the paper into the ink. And this process on some of these images took me a while. You have to do it by hand using pressure. All right, so I'm done burnishing. And at this point, you, you pull back your paper and you have your image. The next step I did on this particular one is I added watercolor over the top of it. And that's your final product. I added the blue, the watercolor, afterwards. So in printmaking, 
the final product is a series of prints. The, uh, the work of art, in my case, was 20 pieces each. And each of them is printed the same way. They're all a little bit different. They're all oil inks, so they take two weeks to dry. So come on out. The closing reception is going on next week. You should uh, come hang out with me.